back to GearWire.com. I'm your presenter. My name is Bill Holland, and we are looking at Ableton 7 right now, specifically how to use this with the Fire Studio project from PreSonus. If you uh, bring up your mixer here, this is the PreSonus Fire Control. You'll see uh, what we have over here is the output select for uh, outputs 1 and 2. And you'll notice when I select 1 and 2 from uh, 3 and 4, that 1 and 2 I can set my inputs to be differently set from how they are in 3 and 4. So if I want to mute my inputs 1 and 2 coming out through 3 and 4, I can do that. And uh, the same with 5 and 6. You notice the mixer is off here to turn it on. You uh, click over here. And then go back to here. Here, I'll show you. There we go. So I've got 5 and 6 on. I can turn 7 and 8 on. And also SPDIF, but I'm not going to do that right now. You can also mute and solo all of these, and uh, you'll notice if you bring this down here, it says what the input is. You can actually switch out the inputs on the mixer if you want to have a different arrangement, even delete um, channels if you don't want there to be any input. Take that entire block out. Uh, clock source can be set over here, sample rate. And uh, yeah, let's move on to Ableton. Now, when using the PreSonus Fire Studio project in Ableton, you're going to want to open the in-out window over here. If you hit this, you'll see it appear. Right now, you're not seeing it because we need to actually set up a track. So we're in Ableton, and uh, we're going to open an audio track right now. You'll notice my monitor is set to auto. So I'm getting a signal down at the bottom there. I'll pull out a little bit so you can see that. We're getting a signal from the mic. And it's only coming in the left channel, so I can actually... Uh, change that up if I want to. I can make that mono or uh, really whatever I want. Because right now it's set to inputs 1 and 2. So if I want that to go mono, just click 1. And there we go. Signal on both the left and right channels. Now another thing I can do is instead of set the monitor to auto, I can set it to in. And now you'll see a little mic symbol pop up here. So we know what we're actually hearing through the monitor. Also, you can set where your audio is coming from. In this case, it's set to external in. But again, you can also s switch this up to uh, Reason or any other devices you have running. Now, in order to uh, record with the Fire Studio Pro, you do want to make sure that your mixer is set to uh, match Ableton. So just I always double check with the fire control. And it looks pretty cool there. See, I've got levels coming in pretty well, uh, both the mic instrument in and then the DAW 1 and 2. DAW 1 and 2 corresponds to your Ableton device. You can actually, yeah, so you'll have different DAWs, DAW settings you can send to. So you could actually do several different sends if you wanted to send different parts of the PreSonus to different parts of your mix. And then we go back into Ableton and we can actually do lay down a recording. If I actually hit record when the track's armed, you'll notice up here you'll see a line appearing. If I go over to arrangement view, I just have the audio I'm recording right now as I'm speaking to you. You can see my waveform showing up. The Ableton Master Send goes to the mains on your uh, PreSonus Fire Studio. So if you'll note here, it's set to master and there's no real sub selection beneath it. If you want to send to another channel on the PreSonus, say you want to send to uh, number one, like channel one for example, uh, you can hit external out and then you'll notice 1 and 2 show up here. But I can also send that to uh, either a single output at 1 or 2, or I can send it to 3, 4. I can also configure these in my Preferences menu. If I go to Output Configuration, Stereo 5 and 6, Mono 7 and 8, Stereo 7 and 8, Mono 9 and 10, Stereo 9 and 10. And here you have your Preferences menu again. One thing to notice is that here we have selected Audio Input Device uh, as uh, PreSonus Fire Studio 10 in, 10 out. A lot of times if you aren't getting a signal through the Fire Studio, this is why you need to double check this and make sure these are selected. Also, Inputs. Make sure these are all cool. You'll also notice that you can set your uh, in-out sample rate right here. In this case, I want it to be 48 kilohertz. Give it a second. There we go. 
And then I'm going to exit preferences and go back into my Ableton Live Mixer. Now, let's say you want to send a drum click track. I have uh, just a little click here. And you'll see that pop up over here. There's levels over here. Also, I want my input mic to start going in. Do you see the input coming in here? You want to uh, turn off arm. And then turn down the level on your mixer as well, on your presonus. There we go. What I just did, if you didn't see that, was I turned down the level on the physical presonus Fire Studio Project box. I have my drum click track set up over here. Notice that it's MIDI in, monitor is set to auto, audio out is to external out, number three, that'll go to a headphone amp for the drummer. Over here, my audio is set back to master, so it goes to the final mix that'll be coming out of the mains. Now, if I play back, this signal here, pull it out of the red a little bit, is going to channel three. Channel three on my box is not actually sending to monitors or to a mixer or anything like that. It's sent to a headphone amp, which is then going to go to my drummer. So you can actually play your song, your audio, over in channel four here. And you can have a click track going separately that no one will hear coming out of the mains or uh, anything else you're sending unless you want them to. Now, in the same way, you can separate different parts of the mix. Let's say I want to send this track to an uh, analog compressor and EQ. I can actually go to Audio 2, External Out, 4, and that can come back in on one of the other inputs on the box, or it can feed to a physical hardware mixer. So again, there's a lot that you can do with the PreSonus Fire Studio project. These are just some of the ways that you can set it up. Now, you could use it to do effect sends. You could use it to route things to different mixers so you could have different pieces of analog components um, processing your audio. If you want to do hardware processing of vocals, you can send that. If you want to do guitar effects processing, you can send to your effects for the guitar. But this is a very simple way to set that up in Ableton, which is a DAW. The uh, DAW that the box actually comes with is, is Cubase. I was not able to install that with the time we had. But this is a basic way to set up tracks in Ableton to either record or get your band going. I'm Bill Holland, and this is GearWire.com.